Hi friends, it's been a hot minute since the last time we were here. Usually I do these um, approximately monthly or a couple of weeks behind because the babies arrived. So let's start um, where we always start, on the patio. And this patio, you might notice, looks a little bit different, a little bit less crowded. Things have moved around. And I'll talk you through what's moved around now. So firstly, Japanese maple still here and looking beautiful. It's turned colors for the summer now and it's going to proceed turning green for the autumn and then again red as the winter approaches and then it'll lose those leaves. And then over here we have some um, flowers, so strawberry marigolds and then three different um, small dahlias. And as we progress this way, you'll see some of the main changes as well as baby laundry. So, jasmine, still haven't trimmed it, sorry. Then we have a new addition, a cherry tree. I can't remember if it was here last time. The fig is doing great. The only fruit on it is still um, ripening. It's gonna be a while before it ripens fully. My um, heather is not looking so hot. This is a winter heather for the most part, which is why it's looking so rubbish, but it'll improve. And then we have all of the pots now in one place, which is quite nice. And I will say one thing that disappoints me terribly is this tomato. It was a mascotka tomato, which was um, sold to me as an open um, pollinated heirloom. Well, it kind of hybridized with something, the seeds that I've saved. So it's, it's a bit weird. I'm pretty sure it's hybridized with my black cherry because it looks just peculiar. If you look at it it's suddenly really big i'll show you maybe for comparison last year they were half the size it's and tasty this is a bit weird uh, i've harvested the first one recently so we'll see how it tastes in the meantime i've now been harvesting some of the tomatillos they're starting to really fill out and is there anything else interesting here no not really i do need to deadhead that rose when i have a moment and then this is one of my favorite things it's my pot of lettuce and geraniums. Don't ask how that happened, but it did. Um, so let's pan around this way. The air bed. All of this beautiful celery needs to be pulled out now. It's gone completely to flower, which is fine. It'll need to come out. The basil is looking good. The Russian tarragon is looking great. The thyme, as always, phenomenal. The sage has now really properly bounced back and it's looking good. And then we have some chicories and various greens. In here, when we pan this way, the beds have been extended. And I will say, if you're wondering what is this damage, I do not like foxes. This is a fox damage and I'm furious about it because I've just planted a whole bunch of um, okra the other day. And the fox literally just ran over it. Infuriating, absolutely infuriating. Anyway, this bed is a huge mess, but it's actually okay. Um, we have a mix of kale, peppers, that kind of stuff. Um, some Atsuko winter cabbage, some celtus, onions, etc. Those tall things over here. This is obviously dill. Right behind it, we have sorrel. And then right behind it, we have um, chard. That all needs to be pulled out. And then over here, we have some more kale and some more okra. And as I said, the foxes last night have done damage. So that one will be gone, unfortunately. So will be this one. But these just life. Um, and then as we look in, this really needs weeding. I've been harvesting the red tomatoes. If you're wondering why, why there are no red ones. These are the um, Betalux, which are determinate small tomatoes. They're actually pretty tasty, I will say. Um, it looks like a complete jungle and that's absolutely fine. Um, the kale is looking fabulous. I'm going to harvest and freeze some of that. So that's all good. And as we progress here, actually I need to grab that tomato, don't I? Let's have a look. We have one little yellowing one. You can see. There you go. Mm, maybe I'll grab it a bit later actually. And sorry, going back to here, we have one determinate tomato. Um, indeterminate tomato, sorry, which just happened to be in a compost. I have no idea what will grow out of it. We'll just have to wait and see. And then we have some beans um, just under this magnolia that are starting to come in a flower, which is nice. 
and then we have the other okra that is still somehow surviving and a bunch of asparagus i want this to be my little asparagus spot and then as we go through here um all of this is rhubarb and all of this is correts i've now been harvesting correts it's pretty great um i've had three just yesterday so what i'm doing with them is in essence freezing them and grated and that's that's that and then my blueberry patch is looking not too hot my other blueberry patch is looking just slightly better uh, i do have one more blueberry that needs to go into this patch so i'll do that um probably on the weekend when i have childcare. and then on this side it's kind of cute um, the rose needs deadheading, but it's coming into its second bloom now, which is quite nice. This is the um, David Austin's um, Generous Gardener, and we have a random bramble that came from the neighbors. That's always lovely. I love a neighbor that gives you gifts. Not that kind of gifts, but hey. And then I love this palm tree. It's growing well. My cucumbers right behind those black currants, just over here, are not looking so hot. Um, there are more cucumbers planted behind courgettes. I don't think I'll have very many cucumbers this year. Um, Cosmos also need deadheading. And then we have a whole lot of absolutely wonderful calendula. Um, these are the pink calendula as well as the regular yellow one. I am harvesting the flowers. I will let some of these go to seed, but I'm harvesting the flowers. I am hoping to make a salt this year. And that is, in a nutshell, a quick tour of the garden. Um, on this side, not much to speak of. The lupins are almost done blooming. There's like one spike left. But the acapanthus have now come in. And a random, what I hope is a poppy, I don't know what it is, is also blooming now. So, that's it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, this was a bit of a whistle-stop tour. Um, not a huge amount of interest happening at the moment. Uh, less than last year, for sure but the garden is still producing a little bit, even though it's a little bit messy and overgrown. I wish you a lovely day and see you probably next month.